Launcher is a team right now on a 10-year journey to send small satellite to orbit. We're building a launch vehicle that will be able to send 300 kilogram of payload uh, to lower orbit for our customers that will be a satellite company. Pretty much most of it, what's inside the container, which we'll look at, is the test stand. And the test stand, you can think of it as a deconstructed rocket. The biggest difficulty in launching an orbital vehicle is building the actual engine. So let's look at the front. This is our 3D printed 500 pound force uh, liquid oxygen RP-1 uh, rocket engine. We have 57 cooling channel and the kerosene actually comes here, goes through a small one millimeter cross section channel through the metal and then comes back out there before getting into the injector. Traditionally, manufacturing this type of part uh, requires millions of dollars of investments in custom machines to, uh, to brace them together and to, and to basically fabricate them. Now with 3D printing, you can now print the, the chamber and the nozzle in the throat as a single part. It's never been that easy thanks to this advancement. My name is Greg Hayes. I'm the Director of Applications and Consulting at EOS North America. And what we did with Launcher, which I think is really interesting, is we helped them as a small team think about how to design their component so that it can be produced additively, so that they can get the, uh, the features that they want in a reliable way from our technology. We worked with them doing design changes. They came down to Pflugerville and we did a Design for AM workshop, taught them to design rules and then built the first couple sets for them. EOS built the uh, initial parts uh, as a benchmark. They handed it over to us as the contract manufacturer able to take these parts to print and actually uh, deliver working production parts. New Lab together with EOS is allowing entrepreneurs like us to get involved, you know, raising millions of dollars, not yet tens of millions of dollars to get going. Um, and and we, we think that that's a major change for the industry in general, not just for startup, but also for established players. So uh, today we'll be doing 15 seconds and uh, eventually we'll get to about two minutes uh, of a constant runtime. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 